I'm walking along singing a song all the live long day. Oh, I'm walking. Oh, I'm walking. Singing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Okay, maybe I'm not a great singer, but what the heck, it's fun. Oh, hi, Bimble Bot. Nice of you to pop in. Yeah, yeah, Zimbal, I'm here because you said you would help me with the oxygen air entrainment calculations. Yes, now I remember. Can you tell me what the indications are for the use of an entrainment type device? Sure. Oh, let me see. You use them when you need a very specific oxygen concentration for your patient. Say maybe because they have a special condition where the goal is to limit or use a very precise FiO2. Maybe a condition such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That is absolutely correct. So let me see. What would the entrainment ratio be if we needed an FiO2 of 0.30 or 30%? Well, that is the problem. I cannot figure that out. I know that maybe I should memorize the entrainment ratios, but I cannot seem to do that very well. Could you show me how to use that magic box to calculate the entrainment ratio? Sure. First we need to set up the box with the FiO2 we desire in the middle. Then we put 100 in the lower corner like this, representing the oxygen. We then put the number 20 in the upper corner like this to represent air. I know that air actually has 21% oxygen but this makes the calculation easy and close enough for what we need. Now, we take the differences of each of the numbers. This works out to 100 minus 30 which equals 70. Then we the difference of 30 minus 20 which equals 10. Thus we end up with a ratio of 70 over 10 or reduced to 7 over 1. Okay. I know what to do with the ratio. That means for every 1 liter of oxygen flow the device entrains 7 liters of air to deliver an FiO2 of 0 0.30. But how much oxygen flow should I set to go through the entrainment device? That is a difficult clinical question. Usually a patient has an inspiratory flow of about 60 liters per minute. What we need to do is have the device to at least meet or exceed the inspiratory flow of the patient. So it is okay to have a little more oxygen flow through the device than it is to have too low a flow. Use this equation to calculate the flow. Okay, so if I set the oxygen flow to 8 liters per minute, the total flow would be 64 liters per minute. Yes, that is correct. Any flow above 8 liters per minute of oxygen should meet most patients' demands and be a fixed device. What is a fixed device? The entrainment mask is a fixed device when it delivers a fixed or specifically set FiO2. Wow, that really helped me out. Thanks, Zimbit. Oh, by the way, I like your singing. Do you know the words of the song? I've got a robot working for me. No. How about that classic, I did it the robot way? No. Lesson's up time for you to go. Come on, sing Mr. Roboto for me. <laughs> Goodbye, Bimblebot.